Don, philosophers of religion who believe in God have to deal with the problem of evil, of course, and they uh, believe in an all-powerful, benevolent God, so how to explain evil, and one of the ways they begin, one of their assumptions is that that this is not the best of all possible worlds because we have evil in it, so that's obvious. And the, the approach is there, there cannot be an, a, a best possible world that God, God created. That's logically impossible. And so therefore, that's, that's the basis that we start. It gives them some flexibility. Uh, you uh, actually will take issue with that. You, you believe there is a possible best possible world, and uh, I'd like to understand how you get there. Yes, well, I do believe that God has created the best possible, or well, he's created a universe to make the world the best possible subject to his nature. I, I will admit that, that if you put absolutely no restrictions on the nature of God, it's hard to see how that there would be any limits to the, to the value, and therefore, you know, it'd either be infinite or else you just say that there's no, there's, just like there's no largest integer. Right, maybe, right, I mean, that, right. that is, an, and I, I can't be sure that that's not right. <laughs> but, it, but my assumption is that, okay, I want you to challenge all these other guys. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so I can't be, I can't prove them wrong. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm proposing sort of an alternative okay. in, in which I'm saying that the nature of God is that such that he values certain things, but there's, there's conflict between the, the things. There, it's just logically impossible to satisfy all of the desires that, that, that God may have in this. And so I think he would have a desire f for humans to be happy. I mean, that would be at least one desire, but he, he also has other desires. And th because there may be conflict, then he has to choose the best compromise from this. So what are the other desires? So other desires. Now traditionally, I think many Christians have said that, 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 that God places a high value on libertarian free will by creatures. And so that that, and then this, this libertarian free will leads to choices that are against God's will that, that, that lead to evil. Yeah, libertarian and, meaning that you can do otherwise other than some deterministic system. Right, right. That, that, that in some sense, it's really, it's not just that you're doing as you please, but what you please is in, in some sense not determined by God, or but it's it's or determined by anything. By, or by anything. Yeah, it's just a, it's determined by by you. Now I think I, I'm so it, it, in some sense this is a greater good defense of the, for the mm -hmm. problem of evil. That there's some other good that overbalances it, free and will. they'll say that it, and they'll say it's Liberty free will. Effort, right. Now, for me personally, I find it difficult to believe that there's libertarian free will because I I believe that God totally created everything from nothing. And if he totally created everything from nothing, it doesn't seem to me that there's room for anything to make in separate, to make separate choices. So in essence, you have two problems as, as, as a believer. You have the problem of evil, which you got to deal with in terms of the universe, and you, you can't use the free will defense because you don't believe in libertarian free will because of your other assumptions. Right, right. So now, so, see, now you got to solve the problem without without the free will defense to the problem of evil. Right, right. Go for it. Right. So, <laughs> I, so in my mind, I think what God has has a high value besides the the happiness of sentient experiences is that, is that I think God loves elegance. I, I'm of course biased in this because my view as a theoretical physicist, I see an enormous elegance in the mm -hmm. equations of physics. I mean, the theory of gravity, I mean, we can summarize it by Einstein's equations, which we can write G equals T. And then the <laughs> equations of electromagnetism, usually they're written as four equations, but we can actually combine them. We can combine them into one, delta, delta dA equals J. <laughs> so they're very <laughs> succinct equations. And we don't know the ultimate equations, but based on our past experiences, we suspect that it may be. And so the idea is that God loves this elegance so much that he's, he's he creates a universe using these ele elegant equations and, and, and using an elegant quantum theory with, with no collapse of the wave function. But this leads to different branches, and in some branches things happen that, that, that are painful for humans. It, it, there are, there are quantum, there's quantum amplitudes which lead to mutations that can so lead to So what you're cancer. saying is that because of, your, because of quantum theory, you believe in the many worlds version. Right. And so in terms of the, the wave function of quantum mechanics, the universe is branching always into all different terms. But you believe that God has programmed or structured or created the entirety of this, this massive multi-world ensemble. Yes, I believe God has crafted the thought, but, but I think if, it, it's impossible to have the whole ensemble without having pain and suffering 
in, 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 in various okay. ones, and in fact, usually for each human at various times. So therefore, I mean, God, I think God could have cut it off. He said, if, if an unpleasant experience is about happened, maybe God could have collapsed the wave function some other way. And, but we don't, we don't see evidence that he's doing that. And my hypothesis is that that would have made things sufficiently more complicated and more ugly that God himself does not desire that. And therefore, it, it, it might have increased the value of sentient experiences within the universe. It would increase their happiness. But God's God sentient experience would go way down, would go down even more. Because God is, is messing around with the elegance of, of, of the laws that he created. Right, right. So, so whereas he could do it, it, I think he finds it undesirable to do that, except for special occasions. I, I do tend to think the resurrection of Jesus Christ was an occasion important enough that God really did do something different from the usual laws of okay, physics. Okay, but, that, that's, but that's a rarity. Greatest, so, yeah, that's so, a rarity. So how do you then, so you, you're working into this idea that therefore this is the, the best possible world because you're defining it in terms of the sort of the weighted average in some way of the totality of human positive uh, sentience, net of the, of, in some calculus, net of the negative experiences, with God's own appreciation for the elegance of the law. So that, when you add that together, it's sort of an optimization. Right. Uh, and that becomes the peak. Is it something like that? Yes, yes. So I'm saying it's taking account not only the experiences within the universe, but also God's experiences. So I'm saying, I'm saying we're very important to God. And I think he has sacrificed when he came to earth as Jesus Christ. He suffered a lot in order to help us, to improve us. Yeah, but he could but, suffer a little more if he let, it, let himself have a little less elegance and have us have less Yes, suffer, you could suffering. say that, but I, I, I think if that, would, if that would reduce the total happiness in, in the world, including God's, I don't quite see it's fair for us to ask that. I mean, you know, we might ask for God to be totally disregard his own desires and just do things to please us, but I don't know. It, it, it seems to me it would be best for him to maximize the, the, the happiness of everything, including, in, you know, including himself in this. And so when you say this is the best possible world, the this you mean is the total ensemble of multiverses in, in all different fashions. The multiverse that may came from inflation theory, the multiverse that comes from quantum theory, the total ensemble of all the universes and cosmology and quantum mechanics, the totality of that it'd be, you think, impossible to be better than that. Well, that plus God. Plus God, plus God. Yeah, so it has to be, yeah. it has to be plus, because that, all that that you talked before is what God's created. Right. So er, that plus God, I think, is, 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 is what, I, what I believe is, is, is maximized. So we're very important, but we're not the only thing, I think, that's important to God. And I think God has made the best world for the totality for everyone, himself included.